Watch this! Kind of want to do a slate run. So let's do that. Hi. Savage Secrets and Stalking Pride. All right, spam secrets win games. This is a bummer to get uh, game one. I would just want to get some good tempo early. Welcome, Rising One. Well, we got our good value options as well. I think this is a hand that can do some things. It's just kind of a really unfortunate uh, game one matchup. Surely they didn't just coin a two without having a backup two, right? That works too. I think I want to get better value than just a single secret when they just forged a card that could be a Bellowing Flames. Like, this is the card that has to win me the game, though. Is this going to work? I don't think so, because it's not actively used, right? Okay, so we do need to trigger those. The bait and switch may not have been the right choice, just because of the fact that we have one in hand. Already seen the bellowing. Sorry if this has already been covered, but Titan Force Traps doesn't count towards the stocking pride count. I know. Nobody suggested that it did. <laughs> but also I have played Hearthstone before. I know it may not always seem like it. <laughs> oh, look at this chain of messages. Raffle, what's up, you bloke? A few seconds later. Nothing. Question mark. Prick. Beaver. Patience is definitely that person's strong suit. Well, look, as an incredibly impatient person myself, that's relatable, but, like, <laughs> I don't know. There's no obligation for me to respond to every message that I receive. That would be an unreasonable expectation. Glad you made it to the stream, though. Thanks for watching. just kind of in a okay spot right now. How's that happening? Wind Fury? Almost Wind Fury.
I've been stubbornly refusing to acknowledge that death rat release is not good for a while now. 33 runs and I've never gotten more than 4 wins. Wish me luck on the next one, I'm getting good vibes about this. Yeah, you got this, you got this. Good luck, weaponized ketchup. Any chargers? <laughs> oh, those are bad. actually a good attack for them. This changes bomb breakpoints. It's about a 50-50. So this draw will determine the outcome of the game. Never mind. Wait, yes. Exactly a 50 50. Very cool. Uh, sticky fingers with the hero power is pretty silly, so we're going to do that. Jeez, these are kind of all over the place. I honestly don't know here. Maybe the Murderous Bucket? Petting Zoo, also nice. I don't get good value off of the Jewel in the Zoth. It's just the Murderous Bucket. Get more secrets as well as collateral damages, damage to face. I've never seen anyone so serious about mushrooms. Oh, I wanted to show you my latest research! Tempting to keep this, but I think I need to find secrets for the Cloaked Huntress, otherwise it's not a great card anyway. Damage. Ralph will hear me out one time before duels ends. Mogu Kotos run. Look, there are simpler ways for me to just delete 150 gold and waste 40 minutes of my time. Be quick. Gotta be honest, I'm getting one in three vibes from this run. I guess it's good nobody asked then. a little bit redundant with the cat trip that we already have. Maybe I should have just played the cat trick, in fact, instead of just going for the mana efficient line. Uh, the hero power generates a two mana beast every time a secret is revealed. It's an explosive trap, right? the Titan Forge traps. I don't want to play that anymore. Unless it costs one. This costs one, so we play. Let's uh, put face first.
These are not great rolls. this do? Okay. Good for you, buddy. Be quick. Wandering. Three cards for motion denied? Yeah. It's likely to happen, but it's also likely that they get healing as a result Men of would them. literally rather send bits than go to therapy. <laughs> Allegedly. Thank you, Wolf. Nice catch up. Wait. Boom. This isn't me wasting money, this is my complex financial arbitrage scheme. Bits are a foreign currency, right? Wasn't there, like, actually some people <laughs> using bits for, like, money laundering for a while? So you may be onto something. Thank you, Colin. Leaving that up. If I call this an investment, then it's a tax write-off, right? Job's done. No. <laughs> no, please. For the love of God, one of you speak to an accountant once in your lives. <laughs> oh. That's rough. I've spoken to one I just haven't let I just didn't like their advice. Fair. Another explosive sheep. The best part about bits is that they are free, so you everyone can send as much as they want, allegedly. Well met. Uh, Butch is kind of gross, right? Okay. That's a big boy. Uh, this seems alright. Like, just a second bunker is probably worth over the bait and switch and the observers. Bunch of bananas also kind of tempting with the monkeys. Ooh, I get to fight the great Keralian. How invigorating! Paladin, eh? Let's look for the cloaked huntress. She's probably the most important card in our deck. Behind Butch, of course. Did I hear free bits? No. Thank well, you, Mr. Ruffle. Really nice of you. I, to be clear, I said the bits aren't free, but but you did hear free bits from a misguided chatter. But thank you, Ace Jones. This is not the best hand in the world. It's just a tribute. I'm accounting on these bits being a tax right off. Well, you're going to be very disappointed come tax season. But thank you, Windchill Factor. Was the Lillian one run? I think we ended at seven. Ha 
Hashtag free my boy bits he's innocent and the stuff that he did do wasn't that bad anyways. True and real. God. That was really poor order for the opponent at least, but this is a really poor matchup for me, unfortunately. Yeah, we only took two. We're fine. Everything's fine. Stop freaking out, chat! God, you're always freaking out. This is my investment into Revlcoin to the moon. Yeah, that... It's going towards the moon base. We've been over this. Thank you, Rigidy. Bits are free now. No. But how much are livers? Do we get a discount for Ruffles birthday? Yeah, you get the old Spending five... Too much on anything and calling it an investment is my right as American. You get the five finger discount on, uh, on livers around here. In fact, livers, on the other hand, are an investment. After you sell them. So thank you, Weaponized Ketchup. Really need a good stocking pride, I guess, I need, which means I need to hit the Dunbalder bunker. But like, Puna does a better job of playing for board than I do. This is a not the time for that. I have no plays here. Steel. That's what the makes them done. tasty. This is an excruciatingly bad hand. I just hit all of my top end on a... Like, look at my curve. That's left in my deck. And now look at the cards that are in my hand. The best defense is a great defense! Ha <laughs> ha! Round two! Yeah, this game's Ogre. Just lost to a really bad draw. Misguided chatter here. Thank you for the free bits raffle, and in return, I will be sending my liver and any free financial advice I have acquired over my illustrious two-day accounting career. Two whole days? You're practically an expert. Thank you, Zevi. Bees. In before someone explains to me it's on some play, not summon. Often wrong, but never in doubt. Chatter here. Keep buying beanie babies. They're just about to go to the moon. Okay, I believe that. Yeah, I believe that. Thank you, thank you, Colin. I'm on it. Are you sending the beanie babies to the moon? Look, they're an investment. We're sending them to the moon base so that we can have them for later and cash in on that. Alright, the Dunbalder bunker is really important for a game plan, so let's keep that. Look for, like, the one drops as well. Okay, well, these are also important cards for the, the matchup, or for the deck's game plan, at least. Does that make it, uh, questline shaman, or mage, maybe? Rothel says I need an accountant, but they sound expensive. How many accountants can I get for seven livers? I mean, that's between you and your accountants. Come, midnight. Job's done. But thank you, Weaponized Ketchup. I'm not quite sure on what the conversion rate is for uh, livers to accountants just yet. But you should wait until after your tax season to uh, take your accountant's liver. There's simply nothing I can do. Hit your own minion, please. Thank you. Job 
job's done. Will typing Impressive. a bunch of consecutive spaces give you a TTS break? Allegedly. Uh, no, you need to type space slash space, I think. Uh, for, I don't know if it's back or forward space. They're both the same. Skip 40 minutes when he was drafting. How is he still on one win? Uh, the run started 30 minutes ago, so... Somebody's wrong here. So, opponent kind of a uh, Giga Chad. possible we lose the beaver here, but we can just refill with the uh, stocking pride if that happens. Why are their minions so big? the harmonic metal is why. No, not the beaver! That almost got sniped. Where's that chatter who said I'm going one and three? It's clearly a two and three run. Royal gift with the stocking pride seems all right. Tracking cat and select a breeder. Do I have a beast to get off of this? Butch, I've got Butch, okay. Oh, now it's the Dragon Druid. Oh, hey! Are you a new professor? Double bunker again. Uh, Draconic Dream's kind of annoying, but the Band of Bees is helpful. GG, Kali. I had my suspicions. Let's get this down and rolling. We can play the Breedy Boy. I 
picked an ultra human ring for the nuptials instead of a diamond one. Does that mean it's made of humans? Oh my god. Beneath the shadow of my wings. Well, GG, I guess. Really, the thing about the variance of duels is that it brings out the true skill difference in players. True. True. Just a absolute skill difference moment right now. Wait, that's actually kind of good for me. Oh my god, stop it! <laughs> They've played so few dragons. Whoopsie! Wait, that's... potentially game-saving. Bees! That's an order, lol. We must stop this corruption. Secret left in deck.
believe this could be lethal. Good explorer comes prepared. I'm allowed to put an opponent on a short clock. I mean, I kind of already were on one, weren't they? is 12 plus 1224 lethal that's a big bird not to be confused with big bird Looming presence seems good. Second cloaked huntress is really good. You can always withdraw from the competition, Professor. Oh, hey, are you a new professor? Bad Harson when. Is playing Kazakus a good idea? Doesn't it delete your deck in exchange for a few treasures? Isn't your deck almost always better than those treasures? No, the treasures, if you hit good, uh, like, put the opponent on, on a clock. Like, it can end the game very quickly. I think it could be elementals, and I'm tempted to keep the spring the trap. But if it's not, we just kind of sit back and watch, right? Let's try it, though. Yeah, the bunker makes everything better. Oh. Well, I don't really know what that means yet. But they didn't get pillage if they are just, like, the weapon build. So there's still a chance it's elementals. That there's something great inside. You can always use them when your deck is half empty. I mean, with Kazakasan, if you wait, you could wait until you're in a worse position. And, like, the opponent was in an advantageous position when they played the Kazakasan in terms of health total, right? They're looking to close out the game from their perspective. And that's that's what Kazakasan is good at doing, is closing out games. I don't want to have to do this, but I have to do this. I need that honorable kill. And, uh... We're also on two losses, so we make, uh... We make some exceptions here. For the usual rule. set of secrets up. Also, this minion with the uh, death rattle and the poisonous is potentially pretty silly. Call the fun police. Wee woo. Wee woo indeed, yeah. Look, I don't... I, I'm just trying to get some YouTube content. As mentioned, we're short on time these days. I gotta make it work. Oh, right. Oh, I didn't do- this one was not my fault. The opponent played straight into the bees. You cannot blame me for that. Don't have much time. Yeah, 
Once is a mistake. Twice is a pattern. Yeah. I agree. But that's still not my fault. Yes, officer. That's him right there. Two of them. Two of... No, 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 no. You have me mistaken for someone else. Thank you, Kali and Weaponized Ketchup. Wow, that's a lot of wind theory. Look at this, this gastropod is about to get poisonous. Uh, I'm gonna lose just to this weapon, aren't I? Like, that's a lot of damage. It's also a lot of damage, at least. to say it, but we don't deserve to win this one. Not this way. I mean, okay, fair. Thank you, Ketchup. Okay, good dodges at least. You don't need more weapons, no, stop. Oof. Hey, Wind Fury. God, that would have hurt. I know when I've lost. Cool. More secrets? take an extra copy of which uh this is unfortunately not likely to be a good matchup if it's the uh the itis combo doesn't look like it is though maybe it is i don't know is it favorable with secrets i guess yeah because maybe we can time the like, the bees in particular correctly. Maybe find a pressure play that could help. But it depends on what secrets we get. John, okay. This is just another chatter trying to prove me wrong. Okay, Ralphie, you have to win this? I know, I said a lot of really negative things about jungle giants in, uh, <laughs> in duels just a few moments ago. Very cool. Hello, streamer. Are you aware this is a PvP game? I gotta tell you, I've never been more aware of that fact in my life than right now, this very moment. Are they roping? I don't know. 
You gotta get their stream time on. Or screen time, I guess. I don't know. They didn't get Crystal Gem, so they can't get uh, on Curve Barnabas, but you can still get a pretty early one. Assuming they uh, actually play the video game. But this is pretty scummy behavior. Actually, they do get the Barney down on curve because they have the coin. I'm mistaken. Hey, opponent, say here in chat and I'll gift you a sub on YouTube or Twitch. The perfect crime. Thank you, colleague. I would prefer they just uh, press the unturn button when the turn is over. Like, this is actually so egregious that it's the first time I think that I've. Complained about the opponent's pace of play, and nobody in chat has defended all right, it. Mods, you know what to do. Ban them all just to be safe. Got to. Better safe than sorry, right? Thank you, Colin. Well met. Dimitri, thank you for the six months. People have defended this garbage. They do it on every day of my life, yes. They will just bend over backwards to justify this type of uh, behavior pretty regularly. Job's done. All right, I'll be right back. I figured out the druid's win condition. Something something rope priest meta. That might be it, yeah. Thank you, hey, Justice Crater. You don't know what this opponent is doing? Maybe they're harvesting livers. Wouldn't that make you look silly? It makes somebody look silly. Mostly me. Ruffle, I am very sorry to hear that people are bad like this. Here are some bits for your trouble. That's alright. It's just part of the game. It shouldn't be, but... It is. Thank you, Pharmacy. I also, uh... Misplaced that, uh... That wolf, but... It's the result of... Tilt, I suppose. Might as well get some water during their turn, too. I'll be back.
Just need to generate that bunny again. I'll see you later, Jobadai. Thanks for hanging out. Probably stream sniping. I don't think we've seen anything to indicate that they're sniping, but like they're definitely griefing. Although green is very good. Oh, very bad. This one turned out nicely. damage right now. It's a pretty big low roll for me. the Dorian effect. really frustrating that this type of opponent is going to get rewarded with a win here. Sincerely, some of the worst behavior I've ever encountered in this game. I'd say GG, but I'd be lying. Ooh, oh, we could counter rope him, but that would uh, just be stooping to their level. Had a few unfortunate uh, games in that run, but still able to scrounge four out of it. 